So this is a, again a small topic. Uh, it's a, about a Russian robot called Fedor. The topic is Fedor, F-E-D-O-R. And otherwise, uh, it is also known as Skybot F850. F850. In fact, uh, Fedor, its full name is Final Experimental Demonstration Object Research. It was in news last year in 2019. Final Experimental Demonstration Object Object Research. This is the full name. So that is that name Fedor has come. And it was in news in last year in 2019. So it was sent, this robot, it's a humanoid robot. And it was sent to, uh, you know, International Space Station. It was sent to International Space Station. So it is a life-size humanoid robot. It is a life-sized humanoid robot. And it, it has spent almost 10 days uh, in International Space Station. So it replicates and the advantage is its ability is it replicates the movements of a remote operator. It can watch and it can do the same thing. So this robot has the ability to replicate a remote operator. So it can watch and then replicate the movements of a remote operator. That is its advantage. And uh, uh, you know otherwise it can perform some uh, limited sets of actions autonomously also but mainly it will replicate it was sent on an experimental mission to the international space station in 2019 as i already mentioned and this name uh, is a its final experimental demonstration object research the robot is the first ever set up by russia it is the first ever robot sent to international space station and uh, assessment it is it's also a skyboat and it was strapped and set into a seat and it was sent to the International Space Station in a, a, in a mission and uh, uh, you know uh, with the Russian uh, flag in his hand that is how it was sent and when Yuri Gagarin the first uh, uh, you know first human being to go to space when he went to uh, the space uh, in 1959 I am talking at that time sorry 1960 I think 1961 sorry 1961 when he was launched so his words when it was about to go let's go let's go was the uh, you know the, uh, he was uh, shouting this the same thing this uh, Fedor also was shouting let's go let's go the robot was heard saying during the launch and it's about 1.8 meters height and 160 kilogram weighing so it's not that uh, you know less uh, it's not light it is a heavy uh, robot and uh, uh, it had also instagram and twitter accounts also it has even showed how it can new skills such as opening a bottle and all those things they were showing and uh, on but finally after 10 days of experiment on 6th of september 6th of september 2019 uh, in a soyuz that rocket it is brought back to earth so finally it is brought back in uh, 2000 September 6, 2019 itself it came back. But what is so special about this, the, it copies human movement that was the speciality you can just see and it can, uh, and it can so this kind of a, a robot can work uh, in uh, many other activities you know it can even work in a high radiation environment then demining and tricky rescue missions and all this robot can be used. And uh, it was uh, in Russia, it was originally developed by the emergency ministry and uh, it was uh, even it can shoot by using a gun and all because by seeing how others are doing it can even replicate that. So it has a lot of capabilities of that nature and uh, these robots can perform uh, by super I mean in, in International Space Station it performed many functions 10 days by the Russian cosmonauts uh, they were uh, you know guiding this robot to do various functions and it was even wearing that uh, exoskeleton see when uh, please remember this uh, when the human beings are in outer space so they are wearing a you know they're covering the dress you know it's like it's called exoskeleton 
and also some augmented reality glasses augmented reality glass so uh, even this uh, fedor also uh, was wearing this exoskeleton also augmented reality glasses also so it is been uh, almost to replicate the human action but it can only copy the human action it cannot uh, do uh, anything by itself otherwise now when it comes to the robots going to space now i would like to add a couple of interesting points uh, you know before this is not the first robot to go to space the first one was sent by nasa in 2011 by nasa and the name was robonaut robonaut 2 was launched it was a humanoid robot developed by nasa general motors and it was there in 2011 till 2018 it was there in space but it had developed some technical glitches so it was brought back similarly in 2013 japan also launched a robot called kirobo Kirobo is the name of the Japanese, uh, you know, uh, Japanese robot or humanoid which was launched in 2013. So it was not the first one. So then the third is 2019. We can say Fedor. So we have three such, uh, you know, humanoids robots which have been sent. So Fedor is the Russian one, and uh, it was brought 10 day experiment. It was brought back. After 10 day experiment in September 2009, 2019, in a uh, you know in a Soyuz uh, rocket. So that is what this is about Fedor.